Nairobi National Park biti awon eran lan la 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 tin gbe se aye e kopo ti mo fe ki gbogbo wo oko lori wa ma khalaqna al-samawati wal ard wa ma bainahuma illa bil haqq olohun se da gbogbo nkan pelu ti to ni ohun gbogbo ni o ma ju epe olohun o ba wa fi kulli shay'in lahu aya tadullu ala annahu al-wahid gbogbo nkan la mi olohun ti o mo juwe wipe olohun be welcome to hippo nature trail parking area it's good everything is natural here hmm. lovely welcome again to nairobi national park national park nairobi Kenya. Ekon lan lapo, la rayan. Kun lun ali mo salata ou, oko kan wang gani wang mabi wang ti ibolo wang soro tolo wang bo. Eje ka jolo fun eskoshon yi. Mr. George, mbiri, mbiriri. Ah, you said it right? Wow. Not many people do. Wow, mbiriri. Ino mi odun, ka kre ti awa yi, a ti anfani. La ti le wo, fun a video yi, la wo dele e. Koko ka kriya ye. Olo un be. Ata barak Allahu. Ahsanu le khaliki. Let's move on. Everybody. Welcome to Nairobi National Park. Mic test. Mic test. Is it working now? All right. White with yeah, black stripes. White with black stripes. Yeah. White is covering most of all their bodies. Uh -huh. And it's only the black that is the stripe that is on there. 
Okay. Now I have another question as well. Okay. Why do they say never judge the book by its cover? Okay. Because that, you don't know what's inside. Uh, <laughs> exactly. The same same thing. I would be able to say that. Now with zebras, they are basically black with white stripes. Are you for real? Yes. They yeah. are black with white stripes, yeah. or you mean they are white with black stripes? They are black with white stripes. That is great. Explain. Now, <laughs> um, that is why I came a bit closer. If you look at the zebra's front patch, like in the leg, mm -hmm. uh, let's take an example. One of the zebras, just take one of the zebras, both of the front legs. Yeah. There is a black patch that is on top of their knees. Yes. Can you see it? Yes. That is an, a, a good indicator. The other thing is, look at the snouts. Just at the beginning of the mouth, just yeah, about the snout it's itself, black. the linings of the eyes, just close to the hooves, and more so, just look um under uh, like very close to their private parts or reproductive parts. You will notice that they are black in color, right? Mm. Wow, wow! So they are black with, with white, white stripes. stripes. That is great. Yes, that's excellent. That's awesome. Yeah. Now zebras belong to the donkey family as we say right oh yeah uh which also happens to have um the horses do that right yeah. they also belong to the same families yeah. as the zebras now question is we have donkeys domesticated at home right yeah we have horses domesticated at home right yeah sure why don't we have zebras <laughs> <laughs> because they are rare animals nah <laughs> Zebras actually are not rare animals. And they are not wild animals. They are wild animals, but they are not rare. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there must be a reason why. Um, they are not domestic. There must be a reason. Mm -hmm. Please, can you share with us? Uh -huh. Can you share with us, like, get more light? The reason is zebras don't have a very strong backbone. Mm -hmm. So if you try to ride on a zebra, eventually the backbone will become. Really you shaped like uh okay. you so eventually when your backbone is a bit weak what happens yeah, you break down you break down so during the colonial days they used to try to use zebras as the um beast of burdens plus the donkeys as well and ride on the horses but they realized that the zebra's backbone is not that strong so it cannot be able to support a lot of weight so what happens is that this is a very good beautiful animal but it is useless to the human being as they mm. say but in the world we say nothing is useless because we all belong somewhere in the food chain yeah so you're either a predator or you're the prey those are just the two classifications but now it you just have to know where you belong in the food chain mm. so talking about the circle of life what is uh and also trying to um relate that close to the food chain where do the zebras belong to almost on the lowest ranked in the food chain because they tend to eat the vegetation right oh, so the vegetation yeah. is the lowest of the of the food chain then mm. followed by the herbivores like the zebras the antelopes the elephants and all that then followed by the cats that now feed on the zebras but now you forget what what happens when the cats die in the food chain who eats them <laughs> when a lion dies mm -hmm. what happens to it in the food chain well, it gets eaten as well. how by by what oh, so, thinking about the circle of life what happens yeah. is that the animal decays right yes like we have the human beings that we bury our human beings right yeah what happens to us we decay because and well, and then the all oh, the worms feed on us yes and then after the worms feed on us the worms when they die they get eaten by the they become good fertilizers and they uh, help in the germination of the green plant that we can be able to find here so that is the circle of life so depending on where you are you're very important to, to the ecosystem you're not just useless to it but you might think why why the grass here why all this because i used to ask myself why do lions exist just to kill the other animals and eat them and die but there is the regulation that comes with it if you have so many zebras or so many herbivores then that means the vegetation is going to die right because it is going to be overeaten by the animal 
But now we have a regulator, which is probably the lions, the, the lion. predators. Mm -hmm. They tend to regulate the number of uh, herbivores that we can be able to find. So in the life cycle, everyone and everything is very important, including the smallest of the worm and the insects and everything, because the insects are going to take on the pollen and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So that is the cycle of life. Okay. Now you have the first zebra crossing right there. That is great. A real one. A real zebra yeah. crossing on the road. <laughs> yes, not the one that you always see on the road. Saturday we pay a cold look and a cold motor. We lay it here. Most of my money, I think, came out of Dollar and Mobi. I zoom out with Jada as a. Ogmasono, a who was in the Gabby or Niba won't be about to leave on a cabuzo. Masalu, I love the king from Tom Lata Alam. We are cholera as in several. I suppose there were two years, who are mean nipper, a la dudu, a chief, a wear cotty, a rinde, no tea or colour for our mochi, chele. Be as in several, I say there were total chicken, I see when you lay, the people live where a bully mag be and dandy mag go be as in. And again, one near one, which the joke will come out back bira. As in a jess and team out back bira, and no tack on the vegetables be one near one, yellow for zebra crossing. Because when it's here, I want an uncle to be a jabber of power, be tabac posse, while Sari won't want to buy. So that can only be tiger and uncle and lacunima, you to my moon, I daru. Oh, my love and Lulia, you want my lose zebra crossing, my lord, and it's more for you left moon or ta be as in zebra as a toy. You can now, one more power, yellow and colonel cosan, and a chin. I take out as well, you a call me, Luli Buena, Talo, in Nairobi. Hey, get off! You good? <laughs> Hi! Salaamu Alaikum! He's looking at me, right? Uh -huh. So, what do you know about them? Tell us more. So, at times I say we steal ideas from the animals. We steal ideas from animals? Yes. Okay. Which sometimes we monetize them or sometimes we use them for our own benefits. Now, in Africa, we have nine subspecies of giraffes <coughs> but they all happens to be different shapes uh, in terms of the patterns like this one looks like flying bats you can be able to see all leaf like patterns right they have like the patterns themselves the body patterns yeah. okay. okay they look like leafy like patterns or like the flying bats yeah. but mm. the other types of uh, giraffes are very much different in terms of the patterns now with the giraffes, they are the low, they have uh, like um, the biggest heart in the animal kingdom because the heart it is used to pump the blood uh, all the way up to the head. And they have nine vertebrates, just like the backbone, just like a normal human being, from the head to the tail, nine vertebrates. Wow. So what, when, when I say about stealing ideas from uh, these animals, you look at them nicely, their eyes, they are very much black in color, right? I uh, wish you can be able to see them much closer, but they are black in color. And that is why we human beings stole the ideas of having like um, the shades on us, like the goggles. The... Ah. Yeah, yes. Like from them. when we have a shade? Yes, definitely. Ooh. And then again, you find the ideas of the eyelashes the ladies stole the ideas of having long eyelashes <laughs> from these animals because they are very much pretty when you look at them yeah. whether male or female now one thing about giraffes is that they don't produce any sound when they are happy or uh, sad or being hunted the sound that cannot be heard by the human ear but they speak in ultra high sounds that are all heard themselves but you cannot be able to hear them as a human being Unless what we have is documented or someone else's ideology, I, the giraffes depends on what happens in nature. Like we have giraffes that are born and then they are hunted. How would you be able to say about their lifespan? Okay. We have giraffes that stay because of, um, they are affected by the habitation itself. If there is no food here, the animal would be able to die of starvation, right? Yeah. How do you be able to say their lifespan? I always found it like um, it's more of a scam saying that oh giraffes stay up to 50 years or 30 years or 20 years because unless 
there is so many factors that hinder that when you think about the animal kingdom the survival tactics what we call the Charles Darwin's theory survival for the fittest there's so many things that hinder that but we'd only read what the white man say that oh giraffes can be able to say up to 40 to 45 years old it is more so of an estimate how would you be able to follow one giraffe until you know the lifespan <laughs> yeah, yeah. giraffes take almost the longest time to uh, gestation period wow. about 15 to 16 uh, uh, 16 to 18 months and they give birth while standing wow. and the baby hits down like no one's business Poops. And that gives the first reflexes of the young one so a baby giraffe can be able to start running within a few hours after being born hours. yes because it needs to learn how to survive remember just like we were talking about the food chain they belong also on the lowest rank of the food chain it is only that they are tall animals that cannot be able to be easily hunted but definitely yes they are hunted they can side danger from afar. yes they can be able to side danger from afar but then again lions are lions they will be able to use the uh, the elements of uh hiding and everything How so are these being harmful? Are they harmful like this? no these ones are strictly vegetarian and um in terms of harmful i would be able to say it all depends on which side you are in number one thing all animals including the human beings react in two ways offensive or defensive yeah. it all depends with your situation if i can be able to beat you up and save myself the better yeah. if i can be able to run away from you and save myself the better the better so we term animals as really kind of bad things when it comes to danger mm -hmm. but this animal when well, when you just get out here it's just gonna run away because that's the easiest of the instincts that you can be able to follow it up but when pushed to pull like uh, nothing else happened the giraffes will definitely be able to kick you wow. mm -hmm. so just look at the way it works two legs on the same side works together the eyelashes too. The left side legs all work on the same side. Mm -hmm. And the right side legs all work on the same side. So because giraffes are generally heavy animals, so they have really heavy bones. So having two uh, feet on the ground to support the body weight. For the elephants is only one feet on the ground to support the body weight. Yep. Any more questions? I think no problem. Thank you. All right. You will be able to see more. No problem. And you will be able to explain, expand more on them. Okay. Bye, giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, you see, life is full of lessons. Giraffe, you see, wonder, right? Ewami, tari lara agufan, olon ogugun. Akoko bi o ti se to yen. Inu e boto ni agufan je eran to je pe ohun lo ma nje nkan to tutuju. Ni iwe ni awon nkan oko tori wipe ohun egun awon to ba se jade ninu nkan igi tutu ohun lo ma koko je opportunity ni when you have the opportunity grab it en to ba la va ni nkan lo ebun ni olohun ni o fun e eran yi o je eran kan to wa lack of expression binu ba bi won binu won ba ndo e le mo ba kan na ori duo ni won ti sasepo ori duo ni won de ntin bi mo o je eran ti o kun fun ami ati ase giraffe je eran kan ti ma rin bi obirin o fa ko si wa won de ni lara giraffe lati ko ka ma lo gogu igoju ba kan na eyelash so obirin e ba de wo giraffe dada lo to orun lo eyelash so o se ni tolohun o se fun apen to ma ma ni to hun o to hun olohun ki so olohun enikan je je laye gba emi oju o iwo oju mi lo ndale aye ru Yala afia ujoba uluwa la seda kuwa. Okay. So these ones are still antelopes. Antelope. They belong to the antelope family. But we call them specifically impalas. Impala, yeah. Yes. Impala. So you, what can you be able to spot here? Only one has a horn. Uh huh. The other doesn't have a horn. Uh huh. The other doesn't have a horn are much more than the one that has a horn exactly so we say let the men be horny <laughs> let the men be horny wow. okay. 
So analysis, please. Yes, this guy is the only gentleman that you see there. Not a gentleman, a man. Uh -huh. He is the horny guy. He is the horn person. Literally wow. with the horns and it's being the, the only male there in that group. Wow. Ooh. So what does that tell you about Africa and all that we believe in? Polygamy is everything, right? So it's all about these women. <laughs> yes, it's all about women. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Very bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> now that guy is a pimp. He knows how to do it. He knows how to sort out its women. For the lion, they will just go to seclusion alone. Mm. But this guy is going to take like five, four, five. Between, can be able to service between... <laughs> can be able to service between 20 to 60 of them. Wow. Wow. Yes. So, so not... not so a honey guy. Right? Yeah, it's not that... We don't have other females, have other males around, but the males stay in a group. Mm. Boys club. They all stay together. So this guy is going to lead from behind. <laughs> if things that the women are running away, he will go and tell them, you guys don't go in that direction. I own you. I own you. <laughs> That's right. Mm. So what happens when a young male is born in that group? It stays for a very few, for a few like months until it gets a bit older. And then after it gets a bit older, the guy is going to chase him away. Mm. Go look for your club. Wow. So normally they stay in something you call what we have now as the boys club. Mm. Like you have the males group only, no ladies, no nothing. That's what happens with the Impala, most of the Impalas. Wow. If they don't do that... Then I think their survival rate is going. Now it's 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 very bad being an impala, because at that particular time so you die as a virgin. You will never have mate with anyone because for you to have a lady there or for you to be able to mate, you have to fight your way up. Mm. And sometimes your way up becomes more fatal that you die. Mm. So most of the male impalas die as virgins, nothing more. Because they will definitely be unable to fight. Definitely, yeah, you will definitely not be able to fight up your, your way up on the rank so that you can be able to start to have as much as you want. Well, if the lion should exactly. Be male here, another male is going to take over. Definitely, yes. Now we will probably get to see so another male around. group. All of them, the honey guys, there. They fight against themselves. They mock protect themselves. They mock fight. They they have their own boys leader. Mm. that is up on the rank so if no this one would be able to die <laughs> what no happens boys. is that the other guy would be able to leave the other group <clears throat> and then comes here takes over inherits mm. yeah, inherits this. the kingdom now these are very special kind of antelopes in terms of the ladies because yeah. ladies have a feature that if we human beings had that kind of a feature we would be like gods because they determine what time of the day they can give birth. And if they believe that their young one is going to be in danger in this particular time, type of um, uh, environment, they can be able to postpone giving birth. Mm. Now imagine if our ladies or our women had that kind of a feature. I'm not going to give birth to your baby today. When do you want it? I'll just let you know. So they have um, demanded to tell you, I'm going to give birth to your baby on the 16th. That's what they exist exact time. That's what I want. They have that as the impalas. The impalas have that kind of a feature. They can be able to do that. But it's all more so instinct based because they they will only do that if they believe that their young one is in danger. Yeah. Yes. For as long as how? Uh, maximum twenty to thirty days. Yeah. When it's due. Yes, when it's due. Assuming it's due today, we we'll say okay. No, I'm gonna give, give birth up. tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Till next week, till upper week, we can uh, do that. Hold it up for like thirty days. Yeah. yeah we do. So another male can come and claim while this one is is there. Yes. Another one just come to walk in and claim the the lady. Now, if that happens, now there is, that's where we have a fight now. Fight to see who. Yeah. The guy, the guy this guy is gonna Argument, fight to protect the kingdom. kingdom. The other guy is going to fight mm. to see whether he can be able to take over oh, the kingdom. Wow. Now, which, like, <clears throat> if you take it literally, has brought about wars in the countries because 
I want something that that country has. Mm. And if that country want to um, protect and have its resources protected, they have to fight back. Yeah, they have so, to want to Yeah, drawn, that's how we kind of say that. Defend their kingdom. Yes, the animals kind of give you a reaction and a counter reaction mm. in so many ways. At least they put on their own arsenal. Exactly. Their own weapon to yep. defend exactly. themselves. Exactly. Atomic bomb and all. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's good to be protective. Protect yourself, protect your kingdom, protect your life, yeah. protect your territory. Take care of your family. Take care of your, family. Take care of your woman, your husband. Now you can be able now to start to understand how we emulate the animal behavior. Exactly. We yes, think it is very animal. natural to us, but it is not. It is not. Mm. Yeah, it is not. We, we, we adapt them from the animals. From protection. Exactly. Mm. So I normally ask, which is the first animal to spot while doing a game drive? The first animal to spot? spot. The impala. No, definitely no. a human being. Human you just said we are higher animals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so and, and that's true. Because we well, believe... Executive animal. Yes, executive well, animal. Executive we animal. believe that you have yeah, yeah. power over so many things. Yeah. yeah, but at the end of the day, we tend to steal now those ideas from the under, other animals that are lesser. Like if you have an idea that will be able to give you money, and then you go to someone else and tell them about the idea, if they conceptualize it early enough, you don't have an, any idea anymore. So it's the same same thing that we tend to steal them from the animals. Yeah. <laughs> Is a bit and a coti are you want to look for any antelope impala? Only an coti are it toy. In a color and a burn on you. Only can eat your coin. I want a boo only to one hundred only jewel for my claim was thirty three. Whatever my told you want. You almost call only boo one. Oconi me only debate. Talk on me bambo at Baja. Batching winning. E wo se miti awon eran yen lo to kon mi ba ti a claim awon obin e be ti won na ja lati defend won ni aye yi mo ya ri awon ko ya ni e protect the family ni binu obirin ni ba dun e ya la lafia laye antelope in palace won yi awon ti won je okunrin ninu won be ti won o ti dagbade bi obirin won ki sun obirin awon yan mo se boys club ni won mo bara won okunrin so kunrin e ti kon fo o kan ra won be ti won kan mo bara won so re ko si won to kan won pelu pe won lo si ready Whatever we do in this life, you only relevant when you are there. So far you are no more there, only God knows what next. Learn for this animal, antelope in palace. <laughs> they have to do it every day. Why? Reason is like um the lioness is, takes time to get interested in terms of mating. They can be on heat, but it takes time for them to be interested. And when they are doing their thing, uh before their eggs um um fertilized, they there has to be a process that goes on in between. Yeah, so taking it like a very long span for them to get interested, do their thing, and then at the end of the day, yeah. But for lions, a lion's life is more of a blood and claw kind of a lifestyle. It is a dangerous one, whereby he most of the time is interested in mating and territories. Not really food, but the territory itself means a lot to it. Let me just ask, ask you a question. Why, why do you say that the lion is the king of the jungle? Why? Why do you say that? I was about to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> I read your mind, man. <laughs> why do you say that? 
but because there's actually a kind of animal that tends to dominate. Yeah, you time. even mentioned something similar to that. Mm -hmm. One, he believes so much in, in its uh, territory. Yep. Okay, so if you can maintain your kingdom, then you're a king. That, that, that's, that's, that's a good thing. You can take a video there. They are meeting, right? Yeah. Did they? That's done. Yeah. Done? Now, yeah, wait again for now 15 to 20 minutes. He's gonna sniff now. He sees the guy is going here. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Olipigana? <laughs> Nangina? Ah, video, wonderful. Oh, yeah, no, 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 <laughs> Even after another 20 minutes, yeah. this is just 15 20 minutes again. Wow. And then, wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about it being the king of the jungle. Why? Okay. Because it's just in one of the demerits that doesn't make it more of a king. Mm. Not, <laughs> no, 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 not at all. <laughs> <laughs> then, what do we say? It's brave. Mm. Bravery, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's more, there's more to that. It's not more about the structure of the territory or anything. Yeah, there's more to that. Mm. Okay. Now, number one thing, <clears throat> I always believe that the narrative is wrong. The lion is not the king of the jungle. Okay. The lion is the king of the savanna. Lions don't live in the jungle. Tigers do. Because mm. you just look at the vegetation here, no trees, no nothing. It's not a forest, it's not a jungle. It is just a big savanna. Mm. So the narrative that the lions are the kings of the jungle, I always say that. That's a fallacy. Yeah, it's a, exactly yeah. a fallacy. Now, at the end of the day, <clears throat> it, the fact remains that it is the king. All right? But the territory changes, not the jungle. Uh, we have tigers that are much bigger than these animals, but why, are still, why is it still called the king? It is not huge, it is not big, it is not... Yes, it is brave, but also other animals are brave in yeah. terms of the reactions. Yeah. Yeah. So the lions, we always consider it to be the king because of only one thing, what most motivational speakers speak about, which is the attitude. Mm. Mm. Hey, have you ever had any motivational speakers come to you and tell you, you know, you have to have that lion's mentality, the attitude should be like this? Because you look in the jungle, the lion is not the strongest. But it will try to bring down the strongest. It is not the fastest, but it will try to bring down the fastest. The fastest. So. It is not like um, the stealthiest in terms of anything, but it will try to bring down the stealthiest. So what happens with the lions is just the mentality, the kingly mentality, that I am who I am and I can be able to bring down anything that I think is, is on my way. Unstoppable. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's the one. That's what makes more, it more of a kingly structure. You look at the leopard, the leopard will run away at times. It will hide out on top of the tree. The cheetahs will run away. So that more makes it more to be like more of a kingly structure. So you find that also in a few illustrations where bravery needs to be illustrated, they bring out the king, the lion itself. Yeah. Now remember, we are not talking about the lioness. Because the lioness also has a different kind of a story when it comes to um, the hierarchical structure in terms of survival and everything. You'd find that most of the lions tend to sleep uh, between 12 to 18 hours in a day. 12 to 18 hours? 18 hours in a day. So between wow. me and you, you'd think, oh, this guy is lazy. But he's not. There's a reason to why they do that. Number one, they need to protect themselves in terms of their energy. They need to conserve their energy. Just remember, I told you that lions are more of territorial. If another guy comes in here, find him, they will definitely need to fight mm. over territory. You cannot come just in my kingdom and then try to take it over. Because he knows that all the women around here, I need to mate. I need to start a family. Now, after they mate, and after a few months, 
probably uh, three months, three to four months. The lioness is going to have a really young one. This guy is ruthless at this particular time, very dangerous, even to other cubs that would be able to come around here. But when he gets his own cub, he becomes the softest of the dogs that you would be able to think about. He's not as dangerous as what we think the lion is. He's become the softest dog. Just like the way you would be able to do with your own young ones. Yeah, sure. Like, to other guys, you're like, in your office, you're a tough guy. No, do this. And if your son coming or just a little one, or hi, right. how are you? You know, it's, it's more of a kind of oh. a lifestyle. Now, what happens is that if the lady would give birth to a few young ones, and then later on, the young ones would be able to be met by another stranger that is a lion. The other stranger lion will definitely kill all of them. He kills all of them. So that he can be able to start a lineage of his own. Really? Yes. So it's much more about competition as well. This guy is going to take care of the young ones because the young ones are going to protect him later on when he dies. Or the pride is going to protect him later on when he's weekly and the other male comes in. But if the other male comes in and fights him, he kills all of them. That's a lineage of his own. Now with lionesses, they don't take time to mourn. It will just take a few, you don't mourn? two days. Yeah, animals mourn too. They have feelings. They do? Yes, they have feelings, just like human beings. Okay. Yeah, that's another thing. So the, the lady is the one who shows signs. Wake up, wake up. And the lady does yoga. Satisfaction. <laughs> Now the lady is the one who shows interest. The guy yeah. is just there to do the thing. Now, let me exp explain one feature of uh, a lion's private part, the fence itself. It has the reason why you can hear it um, make the sound, the sound itself. It's not about pleasure. Okay. It's pain. Pain. Yes, the lion's pain is hard. I wanted to say that, like, people <laughs> mourn somehow, like. It is not mourning. Not even pleasure. No, that's pain. Because the lion's penis has a uh, pointed sharp pricks okay. when it made because it needs to stimulate the ladies' uh, ovulation and all that stuff. I'm not sure exactly how to be able to bring it up, but when you just check it out or Google or something, you'd be able to explain much more about the pain that comes in between that makes the lady ready to be able to reproduce. Mm. It is it is it is a whole different of something that is a bit unexplainable, but it happens. No, no. Mm. we're saying something about the, uh, that they don't mourn more than the, the, two days. The, yeah, days. that's where we left. What you said, the female lions mm -hmm. they don't mourn more than two days. Or yes, three days. yes. They don't mourn like for two or three days because they want the lion's life is more of a fast kind of a life. Mm. It is survival. You have to fight back. Now, once the babies die, it will take a bit of time and then it will be on heat again. She can be able to reproduce again and again. So there is no time like for us human beings waiting, mourning, like elephants do mourn for a very long time. They remember they are young ones that died. They can be able to go to a spot and then they can be able to mourn. But with lions, it's just like, yes, you will feel bad, you've lost your young one, but you will move on. That's what happens with them. <laughs> so, most of the hunts, like in most African homesteads, I would be able to say, the ladies does all the work. They prepare the food, they serve, they all that. They are more like servants. In also in the world, it's just one of the same thing. The ladies tend to do most of the hunts, but they will only, the male will only come in when the hunt is so huge or sometimes unbearable for the ladies to do so. Or so if it is in, the, in its territory. Most of the time, um, the researchers have said that the lion itself doesn't hunt because it is very much visible. 
to the prey. Like they cannot be able to swiftly come closer to an animal because it has that big black mane. The lion is twice as heavy as the lioness. Really? Yes. Twice as heavy as the lioness because of the body structure itself. So it is heavier. If they are bringing down a fully big buffalo, what happens? And the lioness are unable to bring it down so that they can be able to strangle it. The guy comes in, flips it over and gives mm. it, makes it easier for the lioness to be able, if he cannot be able to do it. Now, <clears throat> not all lions can be able to, to successfully make a kill. Okay. Not all of them. Not all lionesses do that. But they all depend in terms of strategies. Actually, most of the cat families have their own strategic ways of making their kill. The lions are going to use the pride itself. Yo, man, go there, go there, go there, go there. Let's surround this guy, corner him. This guy is the one who's going to make a kill. Or oh, let's run into this direction, corner him, and then at the end of the day, you're going to make the kill. There is a chaser, there is a strategy that they have to use, making it that uh, not all strategies are very successful. The lion's rate of making a kill is less than 50% success rate. But we all think, oh, these guys can be able to kill me. Nah. <laughs> it's just what you see in Nat Geo's, but in real life, it is very difficult for them to make a kill, actually. If they don't have the right strategy, then that brings back again to what we do as human beings. For you to think that you have to have a successful kind of a thing, you have to have a strategy in terms of doing things. Now, their ways of hunting is very much different. After they use the strategy, um, let me take you a bit behind and explain about the two types of predators that we have in the world. We have the cat family and then we have the dog family. The cat family, we have um, the cheetahs, the lion, the leopard, the sabo cats, the normal cat that we have back at home. And in the dog family, we have the hyenas, the jackals, uh, the wild dogs and all that stuff. Right? Now, those animals, the dog family doesn't have respect to life. The cat family has respect to life. If it is one to feed, it will definitely make a kill. But you will have to wait for the animal to die first, right? Like, struggle until life is normal and then you can be able to eat it up. The hyenas don't do that. If they get like an antelope or a, any other prey, uh, prey, they will eat it alive until it dies when it is being eaten. Mm. But for this one, they do have that kind of life. Now, for the they lions, have respect for life. Yes, they have respect for life. For the lions to make a kill, there is two ways that they kill. They block off, we call it the trachea, the windpipe, until the animal doesn't have any breath or they cover them out. And they have their own strategy of making that kill. They which suffocate we say them. Is, yes, they suffocate them. Most of the cat family, they have to suffocate the animal until it's dead and then they can be able to do that. Now, <clears throat> the other predators, the cat family, have their own ways of making a hunt. This one they use, we just we said, they use a hunt, right? And they use a strategy uh, or teamwork. But for the leopard, it uses its brain. Mm. It's a very intelligent animal. I'm just going to go up the tree, chill out. When it's really hot and an animal comes down, pounce on it, suffocate the animal, take it up on the tree and eat it. For the cheetahs, they are highly going to depend on the speed. Anything between uh, zero, because it sprints between zero to a hundred kilometers per hour in less than three, four seconds. Which wow. is now what we say now, we can be able to have Lamborghinis and all that stuff. Yeah, sure. Why can't we have something that sprints so far? But you see now, it cannot be able to maintain the speed because it also has to have different body parts that overwork themselves and it gets real tired real quickly. There, is, there you go again. Okay. This is the other time? Yeah, yeah line on the, <laughs> the, the male one show interest this time around, I think. Sorry, sir, Your Excellency. <laughs> Your Excellency. <laughs> so that's it about the lions. <laughs> there is more though. 
once we get to find more i'll be able to let you know more about them no problem uh, so they're gonna do the thing the whole thing the whole thing <laughs> <laughs> so this one is going to really raise its own territory yes Kini won lo laju oba eran koni bo ka bi si eran eri e ko risi si lara kini won kini won je eran ti ma da bobo e bi e bo ti le wo ki ori and to me lion is a symbol of imperfection which means no one is perfect bi kini won se to yen i ma last lori ibalopo won ati kini won bin re within 5 6 to 7 seconds won ti pari ni o de tori e yo ko ni oba eran ko king of the jungle manage your affairs and come out victorious. Bi kini won ti se ri yen. Won ati yawe a ma sa se ko be. Laarin ogun seju ogun seju ni won ba 5 seconds e na o. Titi ti le o fi su tori wipe i ma jina die ki a bo kini won tori oyin ni. Won ma se ni gbogbo wa lojojumo lojojumo. Wo ton wo ma okun ya to bin e mo ke nji la yin lori bede. Ta ba pon dada yo pada kun. Kini won je eran kan ti ma da bobo e bi e. Isi ma da bobo yawe papa julo kini wa ma fi iyawo re so de si waju won o gba ona eburu yo lati le pa ara je that is team work e yo bi ni wa support your family bring something new on the table gugu gba ko la ko e ja se team work ka won mo wa ka le ri won to kini won a ma da bobo mo e tori to ba tin dagba e ru ku a ma ba suba won mo e lo ma protect you all protect your home from today have a blessed day And we have two very, very interesting birds here. Mm. We call them bastards. What do you call them? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Why bastards? I knew you would laugh. It goes to the bastard family of birds. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Bastard family. So the biggest birds. flying bird. Hey, bastard! <laughs> Bastard, oh. bastard, 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 bastard. bastard. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> so the biggest flying bird comes from this family. He called a curry bastard. Mm. Yeah, it's sometimes it's a bit rare to find them. But they are good. But these are very most of the time they spend it on the ground. Mm. Mm. They keep on calling someone bastard. <laughs> bastard. 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 Bastards, <laughs> what a name! <laughs> wow, uh, uh. So we have two types of birds here. Yeah, what did they This is the smaller one, uh, these ones, the smaller ones. Yeah. These ones are called the spoon build stock. They have this, they are uh, their bill looks like spoons. Mm -hmm. I wish they can be able to stand up. I think you're trying to they're trying to capture something there. They are just packed like like vultures. Yeah, but we'll be able to see them on the other side when uh, on the outside. I think you will find them outside now. This one's the bus that you see here gliding and coming down. Oh. These are one of the ugliest birds that you're going to see. Mm. This one? Yes. It's so we, ugly, for we real. We call them the marabou stock. Marabou stock? Yes. Wow. It's an ugly bird, or the undertaker bird. They look like old men, walking with their hands behind their... Hmm. Their That's true. So they are scavenger birds as well. Wow. They feed yeah. on anything dead. They also eat other small birds. Hmm. No one snap can kill another bird. So they are kings on their lane. Definitely. Let's proceed. They also feed baby crocodiles. Hmm. 
they feed the baby crocodiles. Yeah, they wow. feed on baby crocodiles. Wow. So having a bird yeah, that eats baby crocodile is something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. Yeah. 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 Here's another one there. What does the crocodile feed on? Huh? The crocodile. What do they feed on? They feed that one like Feeds. a cow. What is that one over there like a cow? I think you saw it. Yeah, yeah it's the one that we saw. Like, yeah. like Antelo Farm, that Antelo family. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is bigger, right? Common island. So the crocodiles also feed on the birds. Hmm. You can see that one is coming out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's oh, see. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, let's see if it catches anyone. No, it's, it's swimming towards it. Let's see. These birds are dangerous. They're gonna kill it. <laughs> oh, they're gonna kill that uh, crocodile. Yes. Wow. They are even going there. They are not even running. They don't run. Wow. Yeah, I see this one. Wow. <laughs> Allah Akbar. Crocodile is even going on its own. Ah. Yeah. Is that one and this the other one there? Yeah. Surely they can feed on anything. Now the crocodile moving. I want to see you long key. Blood, yellow billed ox pecker. Wow, you can see the birds there on the giraffe's neck. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see them? Yeah. They, they have bells on the giraffe neck? Yeah. Yes. They feed on a blood? Yes. They, they kind of enjoy a symbiotic relationship with the giraffes most of the time because either the giraffes gives it ticks to eat and ticks have blood or they prick the giraffes and feed on the blood. Like this, and a pigeon on the cow. Yes, exactly. So you can see the ticks on the mm -hmm. giraffe's reproductive system. Mm -hmm. So the birds tend to feed on that most of the time. The eyelashes. Yeah, look at the eyelashes. The eyelashes. Yeah. This one is taller than the one over there. It's because you're closer to it. Ah. And you can see the, the color is much more darker. Darker, yeah. This one got darker yes. features compared to the other one. Yeah, the secretary? Huh? Secretary to who? Secretary, I'm not sure. <laughs> they call it the secretary but because of the feathers behind it. They used to be at the back. a long time ago. Hmm. Yeah. Secretary bed. Most of the time they are walking. Hmm. They don't, they don't really fly. No, they fly, but most of the time, most they of the time. because they feed on the snakes, hey. birds, rodents, crickets. Wow. So they stamp on them. <laughs> it has a very strong striking power. Uh -huh. It's on God. ringing. Ostrich, mm. which is what we are seeing here. And then we have another type of an ostrich called the Somalian ostrich. Mm. Okay. Go ahead, yeah, the Somalian ostrich is bluish in color. Mm. You see, bluish in color. This one is more pinkish in color. Okay. You can be able to see the neck. Now, sometimes people confuse the voice that the ostrich produced to that of a lion. Oh, really? Yes, it has a very, very deep hoarse voice. Like it can roar a lot. Wow. People confuse it like a lion. Wow. Ostriches are not smart animals. No, it's actually okay. not fun. Have you ever heard the phrase that says bury your head in the sand like an ostrich? Uh, what does that what does that mean? Like you still from trouble. Yeah. It means that this animal is not is not is not a smart yeah, animal. Exactly. Uh. 
So definitely how can you be able to hide yourself in the sand and leaving all this body? <laughs> oh. uh. well, the lions don't kill them? They do. It's a very good drumstick. Wow. Nice very good one. So they can be able to go or run at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. So they are really fast animals. And one egg of an ostrich is about 32 eggs of a normal chicken. Hmm. I think it's coming Gaucho. towards the... Very close to where you are. It's coming. Yeah. It's about to cross the road. And I have a question. Okay. Okay. Uh, why did the ostrich cross the road? Uh, it's a normal thing. Why does the ostrich cross the road? Why did it cross the road? Because, uh, I think because we're close. Nah. Don't think, don't, don't think outside the box. <laughs> <laughs> don't overthink as well. <laughs> it is very simple. Why did it cross the road? Because it's going home. To get to the other side. Yeah. yeah that's the simple. <laughs> oh, <thank you>. yes. <laughs> oh, the simplest <laughs> reason. <laughs> 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 the other side. water the funniest way. Let's move a bit ahead. You can take the side view. It's scared. <laughs> And see how these ones, these small ones are gonna grow to the same to, the, to this big size. Yes. Yes, these are baby ostrich. Uh, no, not years. Not years? No. They don't take that long. Give them about seven, eight months. Wow, seven, eight months they just this Yep, size. yep. So most of the time, the dad and the mom are going to be always together. So they fall prey to the lionesses because you see they cannot run far the cheetahs and other birds yeah but sometimes the mom and dad put a really strong fight awala mi yarau ila toiri oko hum so fa chen wa ki bidina ma yumsiku hunna illa rahman innahu bi kulli shay'in basir ere ye kera mi olong bugu ki koni akopo egun ima da kiji mere oso gigun ko mo wa gun bi alade lami lami omo ba laro e wo bi crocodile o ni se to te yan ma beru eyin asawon eye kan wa to le pa tan le se le se e wo nu e ko ta ri nu awon yen awon eye yen tun to ni lo le lo ni sun seyin igita ba fojure na ma gun ni loju e ma ma sa ya gba gba ma ja ma sa la ma kin loju ogun e wo eye ostrich bo se mu mi o se ntomo ati ya ati baba won ko awon mo saarin ewo e ko lara eye ewo le aye ewo awon eye kekeke kekeke ti won se nfa eje mu ni bi ohun eran giraffe agun fun mewa nsele ase olohun to so fun wa ninu oro re wi pe ma min dabatin illa ala allahi rizqua ko si nkan na ti nbe liri le ile eran ko tin lo tin bo fun wo ni fun ni ti o je awon eye kan ri eje famu lara agun fun pelu bo run re si gun e ko de ri kokon to ma se fun won ka ma ti su awon eye ti won pe ni bastard ori sirisi abi secretary bed imo olopin e ko la fe ke ko ke le mo po olohun wa e wa ara eye ke gbo tu ba folohun
These ones are just chilling and relaxing. So we have this is these are called the white rhino. Remember we have black rhino and the white rhino. The white rhino, it's not all about the color. It's about the mouth. The mouth is wide. That's and the name was derived from a Dutch explorer when he was trying to explain about the rhinos themselves and he used to say wide mouth rhino but people had the the name white and then the other one you say it now the black rhino <laughs> it's funny but at the end of the day um, white rhinos are very friendly they can be able to come very close to us uh, and nothing will happen. But if it was a black rhino, trust you me, that small distance from there to here would trigger it to charge us. Wow. Now I heard someone talk about the big five animals. You forgot about the rhino. So you say there's elephant. Yeah, no, I mentioned rhino. <laughs> you mentioned the elephant. Elephant. The lion. Lion. The, uh, uh, leopard, leopard, rhino, rhino and, uh, buffalo. and the buffalo. Yeah. So that's the big five animals. Whenever anyone doing a game drive targets those five animals and in the process gets to see more other animals. But now but the question is why are they called the big five? Thank you. Yes. They are not easily poachable. And number two, they were the most, they, are, they were hunted for something. Like the elephant is hunted because of the tusk. The lion because of the mane. The, uh, the leopard because of the skin. Mm. The buffalo because of, uh, they wanted to intermate between a normal cow and a buffalo so that they can be able to have bigger bulls. You've seen all these agricultural showcases whereby they, they reward the biggest bulls. Mm. And then also, buffaloes are never fat. They have really good lean meat. So it's not about fat. So they wanted to have that, all that in one package. But in the process, this animal caused major deaths. Mm. The rhino, they believed to have, um, it is believed to, the small horns, they believe to have a medicinal value. But now, it is not this type of rhino. It is not the white rhino. It is the black rhino that was highly targeted. This one is more of a friendly one. Hi, rhino. It's looking at us and saying, oh, you said something about us. Now, rhinos don't have good eyesight. And yeah, and we all know when you don't have a very good, one sense is down, the other sense becomes super accurate, right? So rhinos have a very high sense of hearing. And you can see, look at their ears, they can be able to shift direction, 360 degrees. What one ear can hear, the other one can hear differently. And it can be decoded differently. Yes. This information A coming from this ear, information B coming from this ear. That means it has a very high IQ or high kind of a, yes, intelligence. So the difference between the black rhino and the white rhino, number one, the mouth, this one is uh, broad based and this one is more of a grazer. The other one is hooked lipped and more of a browser. It feeds on shrubs and tree barks and tree, tree, tree leaves. This one feeds on uh, the grass. Yeah, and they are the most common. Now, in the white rhino, we have two species. We have the southern white rhino, and then we have the northern white rhino. But the northern white rhino is almost extinct. Only remaining one in the whole world. Just oh, one. Yes. And you will only find it in all Pajeta, in Nanyuki, northern part of Kenya. The only, and it's a male. 
I learned that they are protecting it with soldiers, bodyguards, everything. Definitely, yes. But the fact that it's just a male remaining. The only. Yeah. One of these two, one died. One died. And they hadn't found, they hadn't done artificial ins insemination. Because they, they had taken the embryo and the eggs from the female before he died. So they are trying to do the artificial insemination so that they can be able to bring another one. Yeah. But now, funny enough, rhinos can only give birth, I think, twice or thrice in their lifetime. That is why it is a bit difficult for them. Oh, he's about to wake up. Oh, he's stretching. Look at that huge size. Yep. Oh, the black ones would have started a fight. I can't go to Amuri and come to the line of you. There we go, and I'm burning bow. And a black rhino and white rhino. Rhino, fufu, as you do, fufu, a lavia, and when you watch your da, I'll be walk by Leo, you are dead to me. You've been okay, ja. Rhino, do do, only one little letter, a man, ja, bank, a jay, no bully little long way, okay, way. Or dan, you know, Bubuku, and it's in your batch in Lady Joe, Nilan, Nilara. You Ben Lea Paro, you are Bubuku Jim Ben, where you are quite a log, Ben or Bonnie, my Jorai no Dudu, Jorai no Fon. My jammer will clear when I ran away. O you won't da, won't me, a boy, you didn't da da. To make tea one, O Boro, you will create tea one, my yipo beauty. Two money pay tea one lay ye three sixty. Are ye so no be? A tibet daily bon cotto. Are ye so bon o juo say yanayana to Yanaji ki joku where Buluaba quanelori a phone on one. Detect yourself to balak in conco, definitely. Only in conco to long my feet replace a friend. A wara I know, ke keko, and lani. O barakata, o konja on te yan se lo be, e koko o ya, o pan si be si be, e pime jini wan, dudu a ti fufu, e kan da, e kan buru yan yan, o chile o kile a yo je o kwen, e pime jime jito, e ni re e ni bi, e ni re ni kwa o je, mwa je ni bi, pa man ya amali me siko la kapsa tin, khayran yara u, wa man ya amali me siko la kapsa tin, shara yara u. Woo, everybody. Woo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't miss it. <laughs> yeah. Nairobi yeah. National Park. <laughs> Here we are. Okay. This one is a grand gazelle. A grand gazelle with a black horse. Let me see what you like. Grand gazelle. This one is a female buffalo. Oh, buffalo. Really? buffalo. Yeah, female buffalo. The one in the big five. Huh? One of the big five buffalo. This one is a wild beast. Wild beast. Oh, no. The GNU. Oh, GNU, that's local language, right? Yeah. So this one is the Eland. The Eland, the biggest antelope in the wow. antelope family. Eland. Okay. Then this one is a male buffalo. Okay. Male this is buffalo. female buffalo. Yeah. Can you differentiate yeah. the difference? Yes. Yeah, this one Through their horns. Got a block head. Can you see? The block yes. Head. Yeah. Yes. This their horns cover their heads yeah. almost. This one is a female lion. Oh, lioness? Yeah, lioness. You have, you have just seen it. Yes. Now, yeah. The lioness. This one is the male. Ah, ha, ha, ha. The male. Lioness and lion. Yeah. Hair, yeah, skull. This one is the Thompson gazelle. Thompson okay. gazelle. This one is the warthog. Or oh, pumba. Warthog. Warthog, yeah. yeah. Warthog. Yeah, warthog. Wow. Here yeah, we have the terrapin. The terrapin in the family of the turtles. Oh, oh. Just found here. Because I believe this is turtles? Yeah, in the family of turtles. It's terrapin. It lives on fresh water. 
for the turtles on salty yeah. water. Yeah. This one is the tortoise. Okay. The tortoise. This one lives in a dry land. Mm. Zebra. You have seen many. Oh, this is zebra mm. score. Yeah. This one is a zebra. Okay. This one is the same as that. The yeah. The big one. This one is the rhino. The black oh, rhino. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the rhino. Rhino. The big the rhino. rhino. Uh -huh. This one is the art beast. You have seen several over there. Yes, over yes, there. yes. The brownish in color. This one is the wild beast. The same mm. as that one. Then here you come the giraffe. Ooh. Yeah, the giraffe. Giraffe head. Yeah, the giraffe here. Yeah. Then here we have wow, the mighty hippopotamus. Hippo. Uh, yeah. Hippopotamus. Hippo. Yeah. Hippopotamus. Then up there, baby hippo. Mm hmm. Yeah, then again here up, you have the professor in glasses. Can you see the professor up there? Yeah. <laughs> oh! oh <laughs> the Impala. Hey, Impala. Pro Impala. Yeah. Pro Impala. Impala, how are you? So many. One with so many women. Yeah. Impala, <laughs> how are you, professor? Are you good? Yeah, yeah. you are. <laughs> yeah, the Impala. Yeah. 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 Yeah, one amongst ostrich, hundreds of females. Ostrich Ooh. Yeah. Wow, wow. Just like wow. a cross. Yeah. Yeah. Like a natural wool. Yeah. Okay, let's take a walk. Yeah. Then we have, we have the yellow backed acacias. Can you see the trees? Okay. Yellow backed acacias. I want to ask about all these trees. It looks very different to me. And it seems like I'm seeing this for the first time, if I'm not mistaken. So this one is called yellow backed acacia. Okay. Yeah. Cassia tree. We have the yellow and we have the green backed acacia. The kind of cassia tree we have in Nigeria, I think, is different. It's different? Yes, okay. I think. Okay. Yeah. It's it's quite and highly different. Uh -huh. Good. Have this. Yeah. <laughs> well, this one for the black rhino. The black rhino shit. Oh. The black rhino poop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here in Kenya, we have two types of rhinos. We have the black rhino okay. and the white rhino. Mm -hmm. For the black, uh, for the black rhino, they are browsers. They feed on the trees, oh. shrubs. Then for the white rhinos, they are grazers. Mm. They feed on the grass. Okay. They graze like yeah. The cows. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah. then, yeah, we have the Maasai. The Maasai yeah. warrior. The Maasai warriors. These are the ones that kill the lion. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. You, <laughs> go sure. back there, then you come, we have photo with you guys. Yes. No problem. Before, yeah. before you can get married in Maasai land, you have to yeah. kill a lion. To kill That's lion. wonderful. Oh, you, you have to kill a lion with your with your bare hand. Wonderful. And spear. Namaste. 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 So, Be careful, please. <laughs> so I was telling you about the rhinos we have in yeah. Kenya. Here in Nairobi National Park, mm -hmm. we have 124 black rhinos. 124? 124. Black rhinos. Black rhinos. And 40 white rhinos. Wow. 124 plus 40, 164. Yeah. So, the name, their name has nothing to do with their color. Okay. okay. They are all dark. Like, they look like a black. Okay. Yeah. So, this river is called Ad River. It comes all the way from Gong Forest. Okay. Down mm. here to Indian Ocean. So, how do you see Kenya? How do you see Nairobi? Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. I like your weather. I would like to travel, to, to fly to Nigeria and see. Nigeria is good. Look. Yeah, land Nigeria of oil. Good. Yeah. <laughs> land of oil land and land. several resources. Yeah. Land of gold. Yeah. yeah. You have gold, is it? Yeah, we have. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. nice. Land of oil, gold, diamonds, several. Natural resources, yeah. human capital. Another black rhino poop. Yeah. yeah. They usually come out late in the evening to come and eat down on the river. Okay. Then they get back very early in the morning. Eh? 
Mm-hmm. For the black rhinos, they don't like open areas. They like bush areas. Huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's the croc. The Nile crocodile. Wow. Basking. Hmm. It's enjoying itself. Yeah, enjoying the nice sun rays. And we have another big yeah, one. Yeah, I could over see. There. Over there. <laughs> that one is more bigger. More over bigger, there. Yeah, more this bigger than this. You see? Hey, over there. Yeah. It's very, 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 very big. Don't have a chance to see it. Wow. This is indeed a forest. Yeah, yeah. Mm. At least you got a chance to walk in a park. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> the only park within a city in the whole world. Wow. Nairobi, this yeah. is indeed marvelous. Yeah, this is the only park within a city. In the, in the world. world. Only, 10, uh, only 15 or 20 minutes drive to the park from the CBD, from the city. Again here, yeah, we have a, another tree. It's so nice, soft, smooth leaves. Oh, wow. You can use them as a tissue paper when you find yourself in a jungle. And ah. a <laughs> yeah, you can have a touch of it and feel. Mm. Yeah, the tree is called the Sekamo, Sekamo fig tree. Sekamo fig tree. Wow. Yeah. Nature provides. Mm. Yeah. And it's not itchy at all? Sorry? It's not making someone itchy? No, 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 no. Very smooth. Very uh -huh. smooth and soft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you use it as your tissue yeah, like uh, yeah, tissue paper. Mind your head. Woo! This is natural yeah. tissue paper. Oh, you got? This is a nice place where you mm -hmm. can we can have a photo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then again, here yeah, nature provides us with uh, nature rolls and paper. Can have a touch of this. Oh, <laughs> seriously, this it's like some paper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> being used by ladies to polish their nails. Mm. They use it as a nail file. Yeah, that's true. Are yeah. you for real? Yeah. It's very sharp. Yeah, very, very, wow. very wow. nice. It's like a file. <laughs> yeah, it's like a file. <laughs> you use it to for yeah. wow. <laughs> yeah. You just mm. oh, the tree is called the Cordium monoica. Kodia wow. Monoica. Yeah, Kodia Monoica tree. Wow. You see? Yeah. Wow. It's even finding wow. new. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely steal everything from nature. Yeah, true. Yeah, but they don't live here. Okay. They live on the other side. Oh, okay, yeah. the other side. After yeah. this mountain? Yeah. The mountain. yeah. yeah After the mountain there. Beyond the mountain, yeah. yeah. So I can see the mountain. So the community located behind the mountain, that's beautiful. Yeah, behind the mountain. Yeah. But still, well, animals will go there. Yeah. Okay, let's go and say hi to the locals. Yeah, good, Mama. Good morning. Good. How are you? Uh, are you good? I'm good. I'm your love. Jina Langu, Shehi, Jamil, Natoka, Americane. Hi, my name is Anne from Wasai Land. That's great. Hi. Hi. Mama. Hi. Okay. For now, you can just come and stand for, for this table here. Mama, are you good? <laughs> I have to buy some of these uh, attire. Attire. Yeah, no problem. I think okay. this will suit yeah. me. This will be my size. Okay. Uh, yeah, I believe this is fine. This will be fine for me. For you. Oh, yeah. And you have a lion you are you are Yeah. <laughs> okay. You come this side? Yeah. Come this side. Just <laughs> <laughs> tell you. This is just cup. Have a size sugar there. And I have pictures. Hey. I we we eh eh smart. For now, you can just take earrings for your mother. Uh, and I have this one. So this one for ladies. Right? Yes, for ladies. Masai, our our cultural. Yeah, this is cultural hearing. Yes. 
so you can hey my it. love i got something for Ooh. you here already i got something for you here you for kids, Anansi, and okay. for my little daughter too okay amana mm. daddy get something for you already here from kenya can you see them this your size and you see this here but then another type and this for you this for your madam and a picture you take a picture mm. i think i'll go home then i bring my passport then we go <laughs> Eh, hata kama unafungua tunaenda na numbers. Mwasote anachukua. Ameniambia hivi. Ameniambia hivi. Masai rungu. So I really had to help us pack this bag too. Okay. I pack come, come, come. No, I don't yeah. buy that. I'm fine. I'm fine. This, this, and other yeah. things we've chosen. I think I'm fine with this. Or should I choose another color? Yeah. Mm. You can Tell go around you. the market. You can go around the market. Women. What is most important? Blue for men. Are you for real? Yeah. Blue for men. Blue for men? Blue for men. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. I won, I won. Yeah, you won. I won. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you guys. Thank you.